Hello, I'm Belinda of Ruth and Belinda and we design beautiful hand knitting designs and patterns for you to make in our own unique yarn. Now can you see this? I don't know if you can see this, it's, uh, I need to put the camera further back, but it's actually called the Bowerbird and it is rather fun and I do love it and it is lovely, lovely, lovely to wear. And I don't know if you can see, but it is just super. So that's how it goes do a little zoom at the bottom, which I'll just show you here. And if you can just see the construction, you've got a circle which comes off the sleeves. Then the pattern you just keep going and keep going, keep going, knitting outwards. So let me just talk you through. I'm going to zoop the camera back up again. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Is that all right? I got myself in frame. I was like, well, one more time. <sighs> Done. So, okay, okay. So, here I am. What you do is you cast on here. If you can imagine that this this sleeve, it's a rather nice design, don't you think? It's rather nice. Isn't it? I don't know if you can see it actually better there. It's rather nice, isn't it? I don't think that. No mistakes. No mistakes. Don't don't like mistakes at all. I know. Gosh, I'm a bit of a pedant when it comes to things like that, but I don't like having mistakes. So what I do is I pull it all back if I make a mistake and re-knit it, which is good, don't you think? But I have to get it right and I have to make sure that the row counts are right, the stitch counts are right, and that it works beautifully simply and trying to make it reduce um, the instructions so it becomes as simple as possible because there's nothing worth it having such complex pattern cards or pattern instructions that actually you think, what on earth are they talking about? I don't. Sometimes I, I look at some patterns and I think, I mean, you know, I'm quite good at reading patterns, but sometimes it's a nightmare. Anyway, so keeping it simple. What you do here is you've got a long tube, which actually, as you can see, is a rectangle. So what you do, you first of all knit a long strip. You start one end, you keep knitting, 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 follow, following the pattern, repeat, till you get to the end. And you cast off, cast off loosely, very important actually to cast on loosely, because there's nothing worse than having tight edges. So as a little trick, not terribly complicated, just go up a needle size, because you don't want to have, I don't know if you can see here, you don't want too tight an edge. There's nothing worse than sleeves and necklines and, oh, look at my hair, do you like my sparkly eye Charlotte? <laughs> um, there, you do this, so that, that's that. Okay, so cast off loosely, go up a needle size, or if you do cast off loosely, fine, stay with the same needle size. So, two. Then what you do is you go plinkety plonk. It tells you on the instructions how much to sew up. As you can see, it's that much, which is about a foot, on both sleeves. And then you've got, I'm just putting this down here, tube, sewn up sleeves goes around the back, tube, so a shrug, does that matter, just a long tube, da, 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 da. Then what you do is because you've got this here and this here and this here and here, on circular needles, if you can see, you pick the stitches up along here and then you follow the pattern, round and round and round and round, keep going, keep going, keep going. The next row, because you want to actually double the stitches, because it's really important otherwise it's actually going to be too, 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 too tight, I've actually got a little bit of alpaca in my eye, it's going to be my play time. So here we go. What you need to do, if I'm right, you've got, here you go, I can show you. Yarn over, knit one, 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 yarn over, knit one. All the way around, so you're doubling the stitches. Now don't lose the will to live, because it is fun to make. But to be perfectly honest, you do end up with quite a lot of stitches, probably about 200. Now don't say, Belinda, you got it wrong. Because I probably have, because I haven't looked at the pattern card. But no matter. Giving you just a moment so you understand. Do you understand me? Just a little bit of insight into how that's done. So, what you do, yeah, 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 is you have this, you keep going outwards, you keep going outwards, you keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And then, what you do, because you want a heavier edge border all the way around, can you see here, you want it to be heavier so it hangs, otherwise, it, you can have it floofy if you want, floofy, 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 but I quite like having some kind of something that consolidates the edge. So what I've done, I haven't changed yarn, I've just doubled it. So I'm now working with two threads of alpaca and silk. This is light 
silky, which is 80% alpaca, 20% silk. And as you can see, it is very lovely. Um, it is really nice, actually. It's very soft. It has a lovely depth to it, a lovely quality. It's very, very light, but also very warm, and it's not scratchy, and it's lovely to wear. And there's a picture of Ella. I don't know if you're on, on our page. You must be, because you're looking at this. But she's here or, or down there or, or along there. Either or, she's somewhere. And have a look. And Ella is, that's kind of size six, eight, eight max, I would say. And I'm a size, well, I'm not even saying. But, but I'm a little larger, a little larger. Take off my little plaits. But you can see, it's a kind of one size fits all. It's very forgiving. It, it kind of does whatever you want it to do. You can wear it out over a black, black evening dress. You can put shawl pins. Have a look on our website. We've got the most, I'm looking around for one of ours, but it's not here. Most beautiful shawl pins. They're made out of mango wood and rosewood. They're super fab. You can wear them in your hair as well. So just put one of those there and you can hold it up. You've got a very elegant, lovely jacket. It's very warm. Um, great for barbecues or kind of, or the Queen's Garden Party. I don't anything. Black dress, high gold shoes, little clutch bag. Do you know what I mean? Hair done or nicely cut, you know, bob. Queen's Garden Party. That's for you. Anyway, this is, as you can see, rather fun. So that's the Bowerbird. Um, enjoy. Let us know how you get on. Please download the pattern. Have some fun. Knit it darn yarn. We won't be angry if you're knitting someone else's, but it is created in our yarn, so of course it's going to work best in our yarn. But um, we won't shout. Have some fun. Bowerbird.